Hey everybody, this is Darius Aria for Ancient Rome Live. Today we're going to take a personal walk through history. We're going to be walking through the Roman Forum. We're going to start inside the Basilica Emilia. We're going to wind our way to the Forum Piazza, past the Basilica Julia, taking a look at the many temples on the Capitoline Hill slopes. Be sure to subscribe to Ancient Rome Live. Be sure to like this video and join us for an incredible amount of unique views of sites and museums, exhibits, and special access in Rome and throughout the Mediterranean. Ancient Rome Live is for you. Starting off looking at the remains of the earlier Basilica Emilia. You can see it's got the base of the columns. The structure is entirely made of tuff. And then we have the remains of the Augustan Basilica Emilia with a very narrow nave and side aisles, which once had a magnificent marble facade. And that's why you have all these impressive chunks, solid chunks of Carrara marble for what was known as the portico of Gaius and Lucius, the grandchildren of Augustus that he adopted as his own children. And then we're looking across the way, across the piazza of the Roman Forum toward some re-erected honorific columns, probably erected in the time of Diocletian or Constantine. And behind that, the Basilica Julia. There's the column of Focus. The triple arch of Septimius Severus and the Curia rebuilt after the fire in 283, looking toward the Forum Transitorium. We're now walking through the Basilica Emilia, which has still the remains of some impressive marble veneer. This wall was found toppled over and it was re-erected in the excavations under Giacomo Boni. So when we do look at the Roman form, we have to realize that there are whole sections that have been reconstructed, but reconstructed based upon the fact that that wall was found lying flat right here. We have a late uh, opus secular floor. This floor has been recently cleaned, it's dating to the sixth century. So we want to think of famously the Basilica Emilia being destroyed in 410 that Augustan monument, but the space takes on a later life. And this recently restored visible floor of Opus Sectile is underlining the fact that yes, indeed, this structure, this space was still occupied and buildings were still on it. We're covering here an area of about 40 square meters. Over here we have a cast of some of the famous images that once adorned the Basilica Emilia, including the rape of the Sabine women and the punishment of Tarpeia. We're now looking at the impressive wall of the temple of Antonius Pius and Faustina, converted into a church of St. Lawrence of the Miracle making our way to the Forum Piazza proper. So we're now coming on to the Via Sacra, staircase of the Temple of Antonius Pius and Faustina. Looking at the Rager right here. And we also understand when we look at the foundations at this point, how the later Via Sacra was raised up in this, uh, in this portion of the Via Sacra route. We're seeing the impressive conglomerate walls of the Temple of Divine Julius Caesar. And opposite it, at the other end, is the Rostra of the imperial period. Coming right down onto the piazza proper, 
where there were assemblies, where there were in the Republican period even gladiator spectacles as we passed the row of shops in the front of the Basilica Amelia. Walking on these ancient pavements, walking straight toward the magnificent Tiberian reconstruction of the Temple of the Castors, pivoting over to the remains of the Temple of Divine Julius Caesar, past the Temple of Vesta, looking up at the Domus Tibidiana of the Emperor. We're going to make our way past these ruts in the pavement to our first serious view of the Basilica Julia right here. And the Cloaca Maxima passes right underneath. Walking behind the honorary columns. that were extended along the length of the Spilica Julia. The Basilica Julia, along with the Curia, was rebuilt after the fire of 283. We can drop into a portion of the pavement and piazza of the form that's legible. We have the fountain or the, the natural spring, the Lacus Juturnae. And we have a replanting of the famous fig tree, olive tree, and vine that spontaneously grew in the Forum Piazza with the beautiful facades of the Curia and the arches of Temius Severus visible to us, as well as the base of the Column of Focus. We're just getting the tabularium structure, which is underneath City Hall. And we're pivoting over to the Temple of Saturn on the left, and the Temple of Divine Vespasian straight across from us. So when we do walk toward the Temple of Saturn, the treasury of Rome, last built at the end of the fourth century AD, the last built pagan temple in the city. It's on the slopes of the Capitoline Hill, as is the Temple of Divine Vespasian, as is the void off to the side, which was the massive Temple of Concordia. Pivoting over now to the reconstructed wall of the Rostra, the speaker's platform of the imperial period that was uh, last reconstructed by uh, Augustus. Recently restored. Possibly now we're passing through the remains of the Arch of Tiberius. If not, it's right over here, straddling the Vicus Jugarius. We're gonna make our way toward the Rostra. We can actually see the curved steps recently cleaned. such an important historical monument. Think of the speeches, think of the funerary orations. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears of Mark Antony. This structure is attributed to being the mundus right here, a connection to the underworld, if not the belly button, the navel of ancient Rome. This bit of tuff might have been the original altar of the Temple of Saturn, which we see right here. It's the Temple of Saturn, the Temple of Vespasian, and this void, the Temple of Concordia. Here's our road for Triumphator, the Clevis Capitolinus. 
And finally, we know the gold milestone was gilded bronze, but this round structure with these holes for some sort of applique has in the scholarship sometimes been identified as that golden milestone. All roads lead to Rome. We're in the heart of the ancient city. We're in the heart of the Roman Forum. Hope you've enjoyed this brief walk inside the Roman Forum. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter at ancientromelive.org and be sure to like the video. We'll see you again for more walks in ancient Rome.